Good morning children. Hope you are all doing well. And I hope you have all completed your worksheets and video classes. Now we are going to recall our first video class that is preparation of food in plants. Okay children, in this chapter we are going to discuss about the structure of leaf and the process of photosynthesis. Now let's start with the topic structure of leaf. What is the color of the leaf? Yes, it is green in color. Most of the leaves are green in color. Why are they green in color? Due to the presence of chlorophyll. Yes, you are right. And what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is a green pigment which gives green color to the leaves. And the leaf has five main parts. What are they? Yes, one, petiole, two, midrib, three, leaf lamina, four, leaf apex, five, stipule. And what is petiole? Petiole is a stalk with the help of petiole. The leaves are attached to the stem. Once again, I'll repeat. Petiole is a stalk. With the help of petiole, the leaves are attached to the stem. And what is midrib? We can see a thick vein at the center of the leaves. That is called the midrib or midvein. 3. Leaf lamina. The broad and green flat surface of the leaf is called leaf lamina. 4. Leaf apex. The tip of the leaf blade is called leaf apex. Stipule. Sometime at the base of the petiole, we can see two small green leaf-like structure. It is called stipule. Example, rose and hibiscus. Now, let us see two main things which is present in the leaves. The first one is chlorophyll and the second one is stomata. Chlorophyll and stomata play an important role in the process of photosynthesis. What are they? Do you remember? Yes, children, the chlorophyll pigment absorb the heat from the sunlight and the stomata absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Once again, I'll repeat, the chlorophyll pigment absorbs the heat from the sunlight and the stomata absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Now, let us see what is happening during photosynthesis? Before that, let us see what is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants make their own food. Once again, I'll repeat. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants make their own food. Now, let us see the process of photosynthesis. First, water is absorbed by the roots from the soil and passed to the leaves. Second, carbon dioxide is absorbed from the air by the stomata. Then, the sunlight falls on the leaves absorbed by the chlorophyll. After this, chemical reaction takes place. Water plus carbon dioxide gives glucose and oxygen. In this water, carbon dioxide and sunlight gets converted into glucose and oxygen. Now, the plants prepare their food. So, the leaves are called as food factory of the plants or 
kitchen of the plants in plants food in the form of glucose is a type of sugar and the plants use this sugar to grow and make fruits flowers and vegetables and also the extra food is stored in leaves roots stems or flowers in the form of starch and the other product we get from photosynthesis is oxygen isn't it so the plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and give out oxygen to the atmosphere and that oxygen we need to live so all the living things on earth like plants animals and human beings live by the process of photosynthesis i hope you have all bought your notebook are you interested in writing come on let's start writing children take your class work first write your index page then take a new page and to start lesson 1 preparation of food in plants roman 1 choose the correct answer 1 the process of making food by plants with the help of sunlight water and carbon dioxide is called dash answer photosynthesis 2 spinach and cabbage are the dash of the plant in which extra food is stored answer leaves which of the following parts is known as kitchen of the plant answer leaf 4 the green colored pigment present in leaves of the plant is dash answer chlorophyll in which part of the plant or veins present answer leaf roman 2 fill in the blanks 1 dash or the tiny pores present on the lower surface of the leaves answer stomata 2 starch with iodine solution gives dash color answer blue black 3 crotons have dash in their leaves answer chlorophyll 4 during dash new tree saplings are planted answer van mahatsap roman 3 true or false 1 the leaf is attached to the stem with the stalk called petiole answer true 2 wildlife sanctuaries protect domestic animals answer false 3 carbon dioxide gas is given out during photosynthesis answer false 4 plants absorb water from the soil answer true 5 stomata help in the exchange of gases answer true roman 4 answer in one word 1 name the chemical required for testing the presence of starch in a leaf answer few drops of iodine solution 2 list the things that are required for photosynthesis to occur in green leaves answer water carbon dioxide sunlight 3 name any two roots that we eat answer carrot radish 
Name any two stems that we eat. Answer. Potato. Ginger. Five. In plants, the extra food is stored in the form of dash. Answer. Starch. And now we are going to discuss with the O worksheet. Check your answers with me children. One. Choose the correct. The green plants make food with the help of dash, water and sunlight. Answer. Carbon dioxide. CO2. Two. The leaves are called dash. Answer. Food factory. Three. Chlorophyll is a dash present in leaves. Answer. Pigment. Four. The flat broad surface of the leaf is called dash. Lamina. Five. The leaf is attached to the stem with the stalk is called dash. Petiole. Two. Philip. The process of making fur is called dash. Answer. Photosynthesis. Two. The tiny pores in the lower surface of the leaves are called dash. Answer. Stomata. Three. The dash absorb water and minerals from the soil. Answer. Root. Four. Plant absorb carbon dioxide from the air with the help of dash. Answer. Stomata. Thank you, children.